Angry Ranner Gaming, motherfuck. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, everybody? Angry Ranner here. <laughs> Marcus Levy 4. Episode 44 of Let's Play Pokemon Sapphire. We are going to continue our training, but first we're going to rob this guy of all of his fucking berries. <laughs> because, who knows, these might have some use in the future. Also, I like to take berries as a way of marking that I've come past this way. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, when you're playing on an emulator, <laughs> as I be, um, you don't really have the opportunity for the clock in-game to be moving. And because the clock in-game is not moving, um, I wouldn't be able to replant any berries. <laughs> I don't even think I can do it. <laughs> In the physical versions I have, because I think the, the the battery inside the cartridge, which keeps the clock running, uh, I think they're dead in my copies of Sapphire, Ruby, and Emerald. One of these days I would have to get those fixed. <laughs> and hopefully be able to have the game work as it used to. Because I certainly remember that as a kid. Being able to plant the berries and then you come back and you see they're growing. <laughs> You'd think they'd fix it for like a ROM, right? Because I'm playing on PC, it's connected to the internet. The clock is constantly moving, but nah. Oh well. I've robbed him blind and now I'm out of here. Okay. So there's a double battle up here. Now I'm trying to figure out... <laughs> oh, that's right, I can't go up there yet. Because I have to be a... Okay, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Hello, trainer. I hope your Pokemon won't cry when they lose. <laughs> okay, we don't get to go all the way to Lily Cove City yet. Because we have to pass... Um... Fortree City in order to do it. Oh, there we go. We do fly on Duff Stocks. That's the kind of battle that I like. That's the kind of battle that I motherfucking like. Because I'm going to wreck your Pokemon. I'm going to use my flying type moves to fuck you up. <laughs> now I'm going to use Surf. <laughs> Fuck you, Dust Ox. Ooh, Chris was faster. Here comes Surf. <laughs> well, Beautyfly was the only one that took any damage. So, whatevs. Everybody gains the XP. <laughs> Actually, I'll go back. Kiff is going to use Ice Beam. I'm going to use... Oh my god, stop! You Protect is supposed to fail if you try to use it a second time in a row. Should fail. <laughs> Fuck, what a waste. And then I have to watch the rain animation again. Ha! Fuck you, cuck. You're not using it again. Eat Ice Beam, bug. <laughs> Okay, I didn't do any damage. <laughs> Why'd I use Dig? <laughs> Don't know why I used Dig, but thankfully it's not gonna matter. <laughs> Kiff and Chris, and me, you, and Yuki are gone. Uh oh, we lost! <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> I'm gonna hustle back this way. Now, just because of this. Fucking grass. I'm gonna use a repel. Because the grass pisses me off. <laughs> Take flight! My bird, Pokemon! Is this, uh. Bird Keeper Thomas? <laughs> bird Keeper Chester. Sends out, uh, definitely over leveled Talo. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. But you're forgetting Ice Bee! <laughs> Oh, an ice beam is super effective. <laughs> oh no. And here comes a swallow. Looking fucking swell. Now Swallow's gonna use wing attack. Which I think did less damage than the Talo. 
but this did the same damage. One shot. <laughs> Puts Kiff up to 30. Two more levels to go. <laughs> they did take flight. <laughs> and then crashed right into the ground, Chester. Hyper potion. Oh, that's what I like to see, baby. All right. Let's go this way. <laughs> All right. There are two citrus berries. I shall pick them from the tree. Man, we've <laughs> robbed a lot of trees of berries today, but... <laughs> Oh, I know the fucking reason I'm receiving so much money in battle. I was like, wow, I'm getting a lot of money. Kif has the amulet coin. I keep forgetting about that. Kif has the freaking amulet coin. It's a no-go. Tall grass snares bike tires, so we can't bike here. I like that. That's why I'm getting so much money. Yo, what up, bro? <laughs> the mimic circle was formed by people who like to mimic. A battle starts the instant we meet. All right. I'm gonna kick your way. <laughs> And here comes Kent with his ninja ass. <laughs> Had a little argument the other day with somebody <laughs> over the pronunciation of Ninkata. So, <laughs> I always thought it was Ninkata, but they're supposed to be cicadas. They are Pokemon that look like a cicada, so it's pronounced Ninkata. <laughs> I also thought it was always Ninkata. But no, it's it's Ninkata. Yo, what up, bro? If you step forward, we step forward. If you turn right, we turn too. <laughs> okay, so I guess they move when I move. I don't really give a crap. I mean, <laughs> I want to battle all of you. I'm here to train. And also, you guys are bug catchers, which means it's one shot central. Man, that worm pulls fucking over leveled at level 25. Means I'm not getting much EXP for wrecking his ass, then. <laughs> that Cascoon is severely overleveled as well. <laughs> like, bruh, why not evolve your, your fucking stupid bug Pokemon? Like, I'm just gonna wreck you because probably that level 25 Pokemon literally only knows Harden. <laughs> like, what a fucking waste. <laughs> and finally, you bring out your Dustocks. And the rain must fall. <laughs> Ooh, dust eyes. Got hit with the super effect. <laughs> and the rain must continue to fall. <laughs> and dust dogs. Get set down. 31. One more level for Kiff. <laughs> But if you win, I lose! Okay, I'm gonna heal. <laughs> Super potion. <laughs> Am I still using a repel? There we go. <laughs> Yo, what's poppin', B? Yep, you finally caught me, or... Were you trying to avoid me? Nope, I was trying to catch you. So I kick your ass! <laughs> Bugcatcher Doug <laughs> sends out Ninkata. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> Time for a wing attack! And that's super effective! <laughs> False swipe. And it does four damage. <laughs> I've upped Ice Beam up to a PP of 12. I don't know if it starts with a PP of 11 or it starts with 10. <laughs> Doug's about to use another Ninkata. I think Ninkata is also super effective against water type moves for some reason. So here comes Drowning. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bugcatcher Doug. Whoop, that was a great match. Whoop, there it is. Okay. Found another hyper potion. <laughs> oh, look at that. They, they do move. Except for the ones that I uh, have already defeated. Well, how many more are there? Ha, he's stuck looking at a fucking item. <laughs> what? Bag is full. <laughs> Fuck me. Um, 
<laughs> okay. I'm gonna give this item to Flea to Phantom G. And I kinda need this super repel. I'm really gonna have to fix the bag up one of these days. Yo, what up, bro? <laughs> you don't know who I am, do you? But I also don't know you, so let's battle! Here comes Greg. I know who he is. He's Greg. <laughs> you know, back in the day when I played this game, I used to skip through the Mimic Circle, so never much paid attention to who was chilling around in here. But of course now, because I'm training, and I want to feel like I'm using my entire party. <laughs> I'm kind of very much paying attention to who's in the grass. <laughs> Okay, so I got an Encore, which means I can only use the one move. <laughs> which sucks for you, because it is the move I was about to use anyway. And there's 813 for Kiff, and he's almost done. One more Pokemon should do it, and then that'll put us on to training Chris. Alright, let's go after this guy. <laughs> so we finally meet. My bug Pokemon will keep you company. It's fucking creepy. <laughs> Bug Maniac Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Alright, wing attack on the Wurmple for 300 EXP. <laughs> and that checks Kiff off. He's officially trained. Next up is Chris to level 30. <laughs> yep, yeah, and a change. And we gonna we guns to get Chris out there. <laughs> Who is almost at level twenty-three. Okay. I'm gonna go for bite. What a waste. A Pokemon at level twenty-five that only probably knows Harden. <laughs> what a fucking waste. <laughs> level 23, baby. <laughs> Seven more levels for Chris. <laughs> you know what? I was gonna switch to Shanu right before we do Beauty Fly. Uh, and I'm gonna put Kiff in the bottom of the party because I want to keep pushing towards Fortree City and do as much training as possible. And only if a number of them reach the level that uh, they're supposed to be at will I go and fix the party up again before <laughs> adding like DSK and Lego Man and Nelly Value Jam and VBBB18 to the party. Because yeah, it'll be nice to have them trained up. But they are kind of, you know, negligible, some of the lower level ones. Huh! Get recorded. <laughs> but both Shanu <laughs> And, um, friggin' Chris are gonna be very important within the next couple of, uh, the next couple of gyms. <laughs> Shanu in this current one, and Chris against Tate and Liza because of the dark typing. Which, I just want him to get powerful enough that Bite will do significant damage. Okay, survive it, Shanu. Come on. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, well, looks like I have to go back. I don't have any fucking revives. All right, I'm sending out Angrance Jr. <laughs> nope. Sending out the pseudo ledge, and that's a hit. <laughs> I'm getting a little tired of this bullshit. <laughs> so you got fucked. <laughs> oh, level 18 for Arantz Jr., who's only going to 21 right now. But I would like to maybe train Arantz Jr. up at a later date in time <laughs> for the final gym. Okay. I have to go back and heal. You little cuck fuckers. Okay, Repel's effect wore off. Well, 
I also need to fix some of this shit here. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna use the super repel. <laughs> Kif does have to stay in the party, because I need Kif to be able to, you know, go back to what is the current closest healing point. You know, if we make it to Fortree City, <laughs> if, or when we make it to Fortree City, that won't be nearly as necessary. As necessary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna switch Kif to the bottom of the party, which yes, it means I'm switching our fucking moneymaker to the bottom of the party right now. But, <clears throat> uh, but you know, Kif did his due diligence for sure during the training, so. Because we've definitely racked up the cash. We're now at 30 grand. <laughs> I'm gonna go and sell some shit because I'm in town here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I don't think I, I need a Thunderstone to evolve to Manectric. I think it's just a, it's a level. <laughs> Hardstone to raise the power of rock type moves. Yeah, you know what? I will give that to HTC Golds. <laughs> I do, I do have a fuckload of items, though. <laughs> you sell revives here? No? Not yet? Okay, either way. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick up another five spot of these. <laughs> Take another three spot of these. <laughs> Take another three spot of these. Just because I want to feel like I can use them again. <laughs> Okay, we're good. We're good now. <laughs> Added a few more of those. <laughs> Hardstone. I'm gonna give it to HTC Golds, which will get rid of that item out of my freaking backpack. <laughs> and I guess the only other thing for me to do now is carry on. Because now we've got <laughs> Chris as the head of the party, training to level 30. <laughs> And Chris will be sharing some of that training responsibility with Shanu. They'll split back and forth. I'm using a super repel. Like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm using a fucking super repel. <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not bothering to attack this fucking, you know, wild dipshit. Well, repel's effect wore off. Which means we're gonna just use another. <laughs> okay, I'm going in. I can't mimic you winning the match. Okay. <laughs> there we go. We're in the Mimic Circle. We mimic what you do! But that'll be my last battle of the Mimic Circle. <laughs> and then we're going to call it on the other side. And in episode 45, we will continue. <laughs> what up, Sirskit? I was like, the raining should only amplify my power. <laughs> What do you mean it did that much fucking damage? <laughs> it's shooting fucking bubbles, like, it shouldn't do that much fucking damage. Okay, so, let me just bite again. No! <laughs> because somehow that's gonna do a shitload of damage. Okay, that didn't do nearly as much damage as it did previously. <laughs> but I'm gonna have to waste another turn healing. <laughs> That's okay, you used a useless move, because I don't really <laughs> have any fire types. I totally thought HTC Golds would be a fire type, turns out rock type. <laughs> no! <laughs> That move is insanely powerful for something so fucking useless. <laughs> Whoopsie, I lost! Okay. Oh fuck, I was out of the grass, man. <laughs> fucking level 26 shit disturber. 
I'm not going to even risk battling him, because one, probably not going to get very much EXP, and two, <coughs> is just going to use fucking status moves on me. Which I really don't need right now. <laughs> Alright, we're on the other side. You know what up, bruh? I thought... <coughs> I thought you fly by catching a whole flock of bird Pokemon and then hanging on to them somehow. Turned out there's an HM move. Wish I'd learned about that long time ago. <laughs> eh. Heard about a cave called Cave of Origin. People rumor that the spirit of Pokemon revived there. Could somehow that really happen? So I think that's where you get Reggie's. But I can't because the in-game clock doesn't work anymore. You know? <laughs> Alright. Is that a trainer? <laughs> uh, can your Pokemon use its secret power on a pile of grass and make a secret base? Yes, it can. But I'm going to stop right here. Let me just quickly get... Uh, Chris back to full HP. <laughs> and we're gonna stop in the rainy country here before we continue on our way towards, uh, I believe, the uh, the Weather Institute <laughs> to continue with some more story stuff. So, <laughs> and of course, down there in the bottom right, left corner, where there's some bike stuff that I can do. Alright, like and subscribe, everybody. See you in episode 45. Peace!